Hey everybody, it's Kevin. We're back with our friend, the sandbag. And last time we were here, we were talking about how the hip needs good mobility in order for us to get down and create good stability in the back to lift this thing up. Well, guess what? That works up the chain as well. We need good thoracic mobility in order to create good stability at the lumbar spine, okay? And as it turns out, our, our joints are basically an alternating pattern of joints that need mobility and stability. If we go from the ankle, the ankle joint needs to be good and mobile. The knee joint, more stable. The hip joint, more mobile. The lumbar spine, more stable. The thoracic spine, more mobile. So let's imagine we have a thoracic spine that's rigid and maybe a little kyphotic. It doesn't move, it doesn't extend very well. And we go down to pick up this, this bag, okay? And, and because our thoracic spine is more, is more rigid, we're going to have to, in order to pick up this bag, we're going to have to bend and round at the lumbar spine. Okay. So we've got good mobility in our hips. If we have good mobility in our thoracic spine, we can pull that thoracic spine through, keep our chest up, get down with a flat spine, pick this thing up, toss it up on our shoulder. Okay. In life, you sometimes got to lift heavy things. In order to lift those heavy things with a stable lumbar spine, it requires good mobility in the hips good mobility in the thoracic spine. How do we work that mobility in the thoracic spine? One is with our friend, the foam roller. Get over this foam roller, curl over the foam roller, extend, reach your arms back, and extend that thoracic spine. Move to a different segment. Extend, open your arms, drop your hips, and extend over that foam roller to create mobility in the thoracic spine. If we have good mobility above and below the lumbar spine, then we're gonna be able to get down in the right positions, pull that chest through, move those hips, and move heavy objects easily and safely by having a good, stable lumbar spine.